Hi, I'm Gary White for Channel 6 Television. I'm here with Kay Kennedy with the Washington County Extension Office and Pat Sutton, who is chairperson for what we're going to be speaking about today. And April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. And for the past 15 years, you said, you and the homemakers have been working on bringing awareness to this issue? This is our 15th year. It started in 1989, but we started in 1996. Okay. And we want to talk a little bit about a program that's going to be taking place on Friday. Can you tell us a little bit about that? It's going to be a, like I said, we've always done an awareness program. But this year, since it's the 15th year, we wanted to do a little something extra. So we're going to have a candlelight service at 5 o'clock in front of the old courthouse in Springfield. And one of the highlights is signing a 8 foot by 8 foot barn quilt. And... Everybody is invited to sign if they will pledge to help a child, not harm a child. Okay, that's great. Now, that's wonderful. Now, you've been involved for 15 years, you said, and in the past, Kentucky has actually been number one in the nation for the number of reported child abuse cases. Is that correct? That's right. Substantiated. Oh, reported and substantiated cases. But okay. fortunately, we're still near the top, but we're not number one now. But this, uh, in 2010, there were 61,754 children involved in reported cases, and of that, 19,500 were substantiated. Wow. And when we talk about child abuse, that includes all kinds of child abuse, correct? That's correct. Okay. And it has been reported, and actually, I guess this prevention is working because Kentucky has, is not number one. Not number one now, still near the top, but not number one. In 2010, there were 23 deaths attributed to either to abuse or neglect and 38 children that were seriously hurt. Okay, and like we said, there will be a program coming up on Friday that you can come and learn more about it. And who's going to be speaking at the program? Susan McCain is going to be uh, speaking. She deals, she's a lawyer in town. She's assistant county attorney. And she deals with family issues. She's a mother of five. She is, this is very close to her heart. So she's going to have a, uh, a short speech. And then we have a gifted homemaker that's singing if she can get through the song. The song is about child abuse. And right now she cries every time she tries to sing it. But we think she'll, we know she'll do a good job. It's a very emotional issue. Yes, it is. We also want to mention, we can see in the foreground here, we have a proclamation that is going to be signed as well that the fiscal court had passed. Yes. Uh, our county judge executive, John Settles, will be signing that, and we will have some fiscal court members there also. Okay. Now, you have a picture of the quilt, right, that people are going to be able to sign. It's a barn quilt, and it'll be on a barn along the bypass? Yes. It's going to be on the new bypass heading toward Paraval. And it's uh, the silhouette of a little boy, a little girl, looking at the blue ribbon. And then we will invite the community to sign the blue border. And that's their pledge to help a child, not harm a child. Now, can you tell us a story about the blue ribbons? You can see they're on the table here. You can get a blue ribbon. Uh, Kay's wearing one as well, and you had the blue on also. How did that blue ribbon come about? This started back in uh, 1989. Uh, Virginia, a Richmond, Virginia grandmother had four grandchildren. And uh, she, yeah, her daughter was divorced and had an abusive boyfriend who beat the four-year-old boy to death. And uh, the grandmother wanted something, his life to stand for something. And she decided to put a blue ribbon on the antenna of her van. She chose the color blue because of the color bruises she had seen on her grandchildren's so many times, and a, a reporter asked her uh, what it stood for, and she explained, and that's how it all started. So that's why we asked people to pick up a blue ribbon. They're all over town uh, and wear it each day the month of April to show their support for this uh, and make people aware. Uh, a couple years ago, I put blue ribbons on a tree in the courthouse, one for each child that was substantiated in the county. And so many people said, I had no idea that there was such a problem in the county. And so this is a, to make people aware. And it's something, it's a community problem. It's something that we all need to address. And that's what we're hoping to do. And I do want to mention, uh, if it should rain Friday, that this candlelight service will be in the old courtroom. So it's... It is all regardless of the weather, but we're hoping that it won't rain. Okay. 
Now you have some figures as well, I was thinking, yeah, for yes. Marion, Washington, Nelson County. I also have Marion County, uh, Nelson County, because they're just like us. They, you know, this is a, a problem in all these counties. Uh, Nelson County had 133 cases last year, substantiated, and Marion County had 73. So these are not uh, statistics we want to be proud of. We want to lower that if we, our goal would be to eliminate, but we want to really lower this. Right. And we're trying to bring awareness because April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. And do go out and find a, a blue ribbon. Said there are in many places throughout the county. They are all, all over. They're in lawyers' offices, daycares, uh, the banks, the library, the health department, the courthouse, mm -hmm. uh, down here at the extension office. All right. So, so stop They look like. <laughs> it's a, yeah. yeah, it's a baby blue ribbon, and that is for child abuse prevention. And April, again, is awareness of that. Give us one more time on Friday. You're going to have a program. We're going to have a program in front of the old courthouse, inside if it rains. But uh, hopefully it will be a beautiful day. We'll be outside. We will sign the proclamation. It will be at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. And you have the opportunity to sign the quilt that will go up on a, on a barn along the bypass as well and also learn some more information to help prevent child abuse. That's Thank right. you very much. Thank you, Gary. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Again, I've been here with Kay Kennedy with the Washington County Extension Office and Pat Sutton, who is the chairperson for this event. This has been Gary White for Channel 6 Television.